How y'all doing? Good to go. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Let's, Thank you. Uh, let's get it started. Malik seems to be kind of embracing a, a number one role. Is that an accurate kind of assessment of where he's at right now for you guys? Uh, yes. You know, I, I'll say yes on that. Um, you know, we've been challenging him. You know, to step up into that role. You know, he's he's embraced it. Uh, he's done a good job. You know, he hadn't always been consistent. You know, doing that. But uh, the past few days, man, I've really been pleased about um, his effort and the things that he he's been doing. You know, taking the coaching and the teaching, and now you see the application uh, when we come out here and we practice. You know, does so. it feel like there's somebody kind of directly behind him, or does it seem to be like a, a, a wide cast of characters kind of battling for? No, it, it's not. It's not. You got some guys behind him. Uh, you got some guys that's pushing. Some other guys that's been doing a good job. You know, Jalen Brown's one of them. You know, that, that's done a good job for us. You know, he, he's been stepping up, and not just you know catching the football. He's, he's shown some physicality. You know, and some of the things that we've been wanting to see out of him, and he's shown that he's, he, you know, he doesn't mind blocking on the perimeter as well. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm pleased where Jalen is right now. What, what do you combine his his speed with the physicality you've seen with Jalen? Like, what kind of upside does does he have? Well, I mean, as far as his upside, for one, obviously he can run. You know, he, he's not the most physical, but he's showing that he's willing all right, on the perimeter when it comes to the run game. You know, and these guys know that. What am I doing with, without? I don't have the ball in my hand. You know, so he he's shown some some speed and some physicality as far as you know run blocking. You know now he's got to bring that to releases. You know getting off press and stuff like that. So I I really been pleased with what I've been seeing out of him. Um, the senior freshman, especially Elijah and Wayne getting in with Adam, mm -hmm. trying to find a way in that rotation. Right. Well, Elijah and Wayne they they've been pushing pushing each other. You know, and and they they've been taking the coaching. And, um, you know, it's really been good to, to see those guys, you know, quizzing each other, you know, trying to push each other, all right, to get better. And, um, you know, Wayne has done a really good job because um, obviously he's been here uh, a little longer than, um, than Elijah. You know, but Elijah, he's embraced, you know, where he is right now. And um, he's building off of, that, off of that, you know, really raw. You know, but um, I've been pleased with seeing what he's, he's done the past few days, um, catching the football and having the opportunity to get open. But, we just have to continue with the details with them. Do those young receivers have to know everything to get on the field, or is there a way to get them out with maybe not knowing everything? Well, a, a lot of times I mean, we teach conceptually, you know. So where am I within the concept, you know, and not just what I have. So I've got to know right, the concepts and not just that one position, you know. And it helps the guys, you know. Now, now they know if I'm the single to the boundary, or if I'm within the concept of multi receivers to the field or to the boundary. You know, and my number one, two, or three. You know, so um, and they've done a good job of it. You know, they do a lot of quizzing each other, um, getting on the board. I get them on the board. Um, but the, well, those young guys, they they got to know the concepts. Since the scrimmage, Coach Norvell has talked about guys needing to finish plays mm -hmm. well. How has the group improved in that regard over the last week? And what order does that encompass? Um, it's, it's it's been up and down. You know, it's, it's collectively as a group. You know, like you see some guys making plays. You know, catching a lot of balls, but then that one deep ball. That contested catch that it maybe tipped his hand or hit his hand that we got to come down with, you know that um, DJ has made a great throw, you know we got to come down with those, you know also you know as well as on the perimeter like running backs today did a good job of you know running with the ball O line did a good job up front blocking now it's getting to that second and third level we're on guys but now we just got to finish them, you know and that's what coaches talking about as far as finishing plays you know when that when my number's called all right, and I got to make a great catch all right, I got to come down with it. Or the ball's being run to my side or away, I got to go get that touchdown block. You know, so that's what we mean by just finishing plays. We always want to finish all right, with the ball in our hands. You know, so we just got to we got to be consistent in doing that because we've made some really good plays, but we left some out there also. Uh, is that kind of the biggest area of concern right now, or the biggest point of emphasis, I should say? I see a point of emphasis. Yeah. I wouldn't call it a concern. You know, because the guys they've shown that they can do it. You know, but but now we just got to be consistent, like just stacking them back to back. You know, from period to period, and from drill to drill, um, that that we can be consistent. You know, as an overall group, because some guys have done it. You know, but now the entire group needs to do it. You know, consistently. How good, is, how good is the competition with, with the secondary? Um, with the, with the set again? The secondary. How good is the secondary? The and receivers and secondary. Oh man! All right. I mean, you're getting some dog fights. I mean, yesterday, boy, the, the DBs got us. Uh, the way to write the white flag. You know, but um. And we've had some days where we've gotten after them, you know. Um, but it, it's the thing that we do is, you know, we communicate with each other. You know, hey, you know, why didn't this work? Hey, talk, coach him up and tell him what he could have done better. 
you know, the same thing with myself and Coach Sertan. You know, we talk to each other's guys about, hey, maybe if you tried this, you know, this is what hurts us, you know, playing fast and not making a lot of moves. You know, I'm telling some, talking to some of the DBs about some of the technique or some of their tendencies about you know, where they can improve on. So we compliment each other. I really like that Coach Novell, you know, he had us, you know, kind of do that with each other. Man, that's been really good for us, you know, to help each other out. But the competition, man, these guys have been battling. When you were playing goal line drills, board drills, that kind of stuff oh, yeah. every day. Oh, yeah. How much do you enjoy it when you guys do some of that? Oh, I love it here, man. I mean, I, the first thing you think about when you, when you talk about uh, goal line is Mickey Andrews. <laughs> You know, and he's always said, Mark, Mark, run the ball. Don't throw the ball. You know, because Coach Rick, I mean, he's going to throw a couple of fades in there, nackets, you know, but no, nah, we, we want to pound the rock, all right? And I want to see how physical my guys can be on the perimeter. You know, so you, when you see that goal line, you hear, you know, you got goal line scrimmage towards the end or practice, you know, you know, it should be, a, I, I can't say blood battle, can I? I won't call it blood battle, you know, but we want to see guys getting after each other, you know, finishing and blocking through that quarter whistle. Seeing some of that for your guys? Today I did. Yep, today I did. And, and, I, and they, they've done it throughout the spring. You know, now it's when I watch this film, are we finishing? You know, are we blocking through that court that whistle? Let's go two more. What's something that you want to see with your receiver going into their second scrimmage? Um, just improvement from the last scrimmage. You know, and that's finishing plays. You know, run game, pass game. You know, getting the line, you know, having the tempo, sense of urgency, you know, getting lined up, you know. But uh, that, that's, we got room for improvement. And that's what'll happen this, this next spring. I mean, this next uh, scrimmage. Is, is Elijah, his maturity, is that pretty impressive? It seems like he's a bright kid. Maturity. I, I, man, I love Elijah, man. You know, sometimes he'll get down on himself, you know, and I tell him, like, look, you just got here. You know, so it's not going to come overnight, you know, but the, but the guy, man, he's been taking the, the coaching. You know, we've been on him too, man. We like, we've been on him hard, you know, and, um, but he's been responding. He's been responding, and that's what we like about him. You know, he just comes in and, and takes the coaching and, you know, he, he doesn't, he, he's not the, the, the guy that's going to, man, y'all are always on me. You know, he knows why we're on him, you know, because he's got an opportunity. He's, he's a really good talent and got an opportunity to help us this year. Awesome. Thanks, Thank Thanks, you, guys. Thank you.